If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. So, not like the De Jong card in regards to the, um, the weak foot upgrade. Uh, this card has remained to be a 4-star, 3-star player. But with Bernardo Silva, we are taking a look at someone who is five foot eight, high, high work rates, four star skills, three star weak foot, explosive while being a left footed player. Uh, guys, with Bernardo Silva, um, you could technically use him in the 4 1 3 2 tactic if you really wanted to. Um, you use him in a way where he's going to be the guy that plays down the middle. He has some defensive capabilities because he has the high, high work rates uh, with the defensive capabilities like coming back and all that kind of stuff, too, right? Uh, play styles, he has a technical plus. We were very well aware of that from before. This card has pings pass, long ball pass, tiki taka, flare, tree vela, as well as relentless, right? In-game attributes, the card is formatted like this. So I think for most people, they're probably going to be providing him with a hunter chemistry style. But could you totally give him a shadow chemistry style too? You can. It's not necessarily a bad decision if you actually want to go in that direction. Because on the shadow chemistry style... He's going to have better defensive stats, better pace stats, and you can kind of use him as that all-rounded midfielder. But I think for most people, if they do end up using him, it's most likely going to be on the Hunter chemistry style, especially with the future upgrades, right? Because remember, when it comes to the additional information on these upgrades, um, if he wins three games, he basically gets one inform upgrade, another inform upgrade, and then two regular play styles, right? Which would definitely be a very big deal to work with. So... A couple of interesting variables to work with there. He has good passing stats, dribbling obviously already in the 90s area while working with the technical, which can be very helpful. Having defensive stats is also a huge plus as well, because if you decide to use a card like this, you know, specifically playing maybe like in that cam position for like your 4 2 3 1, 4 1 2 and 2s it wouldn't necessarily be horrible to work with because in that area, this card is going to be the card that dribbles quickly, utilizes the technical, and then kind of passes whenever he needs to, right? So again, very interesting stuff to work with for the most part. But yeah, not too many physical stats. He does have a 96 for stamina to work with the high, high work rates. So um, yeah, some interesting stuff. We'll be trying him out in the midfield setup as well as the main attacking positions. We'll see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Wow, that did not work out nicely at all. <laughs> Let's go, Bernardo. Oh, I didn't register the right thing there, but it's okay. No worries. There we go, Bernardo. That's what I need to see, my boy. That's what I need to see. That's a pen. That's a pen. Let's go, Bernardo. And we don't even get to take it. I'll take it. I will take it. Great little run right there. No chance I'm ever going to get to that. But hey, I got to try, right? Oh, defensive play. And we don't score. Unlucky. Oh, you know the vibes there. With big boy Verge. Uh, what's going on? Okay, 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 oh, cool, 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 cool. Let's 
Just have to keep running. Keep on running, keep on running. Oh, he did get it, but... Oh, I use manual goalkeeping. Red time, and we still scored. We'll take it. Oh, all that stuff. All that stuff, man. Well, we did pass. Almost got it. Almost got it. Well positioned. Good job, uh, Bernardo. Ooh, defensive play with him. I couldn't time it correctly. At least we'll take that. Actually timed the dribble really well there. Let's go. Oh, I actually managed to time that. Wow. So much slower, but we'll get to it. Ah, should have been mine. Passes it right through me, goes through my legs. Especially while being controlled. If he's not being controlled, that's one thing. But with the cursor on my head, please. Okay, I'll take the, uh, the weak foot strike. What a save by Bono. Technical allowed us to open up space there, though. There it is. Oh, I couldn't get the body fin off. As well under pressure. Oh, we got it. We got it. We'll take it. Ah, uh, Bernardo's got to get to that, man. That doesn't make any sense to me. He has some defensive stats. I had no interception there is weird. Let's go, Bernardo. On delay. Use a technical. There you go. Again. Again. There it is. Shot cancel. Trivella. Or no Trivella. That works too. There we go. Defensive play. Uh, we managed to get some highlights with Bernardo Silva in regards to how he performs in game. Um, on the Hunter chemistry style, there is a lot of potential to work with. Now, with Bernardo Silva playing for Manchester City, 
they do have more of a chance of winning their games, right? It's three out of the four uh, next games, right? Starting from November 24th, which is today. And if they end up winning those matches, this could be a very, very nice card. One reason this is a nice card is because he actually has defensive capabilities. He will sometimes do defensive stuff for you because he has the high, high work rates. So it opens up to different types of options with this card. You can use him in the cam position uh, with the instruction of comeback and defense because he has a stamina for it. You can use him as one of the three center mids uh, playing as the attacking oriented card probably more specifically on the left hand side if you play that 4321 or something like there's a lot of interesting stuff as of right now the card is definitely decent to use but it requires the upgrades i would say it at least requires i would say he requires all of them to be really really nice like with de Jong's card when i reviewed that spc honestly i was already happy with the card as it was with bernardo silva it's still very good the technical plus is all all that stuff is uh is very nice to work with but i would say he needs those like minimum two upgrades to really feel nice in game because as of right now the shooting is on the lower side so i feel like an inform improvement to put it in the uh, 90s area is way more ideal but getting it as close as possible to a 95 i feel like would be very important while increasing the sprint speed and all that good stuff i do wish they gave this card a four star weak foot um i think that's definitely a huge letdown in regards to consistency but it is what it is for the most part but yeah you can use them in a lot of different positions you know, three midfield, center mid, attacking oriented player there, cam position, he could definitely be used there as well. Um, yeah, a couple of different ways, I would say. Uh, obviously, because he's five foot eight, you kind of want to use him mainly as the attacking player that will sometimes defend for you, but it's still very solid. I enjoyed using him for what it was. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video today. We'll see how they end up improving him. If he gets all three upgrades, it's going to be a very, very quick, explosive card to work with on that dribble, because obviously, in his case, uh, because he's working with a technical plus you guys can see in the gameplay it is pretty big to work with especially with the 90s for dribbling during the worst version of gameplay so a gameplay compensator to say the least but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys